with a staggering 91% of engineering employers agreeing that work experience is an essential part of any engineering student's education, the Institution of Engineering and Technology has launched a brand new campaign to encourage companies, universities and government bodies to get on board. Joining me today is Alison Carr, Director of Governance and Policy at the IET. Alison, could you tell me a bit more about the Engineering Work Experience for All campaign? Yes, it stems from our skill survey that we do every year. We've been running the, the survey for about 10 years now. And what's come out of this survey is that employers really feel that more practical experience is needed from people they take on. So they're noted that there's a bit of a gap, for example, in what graduates bring to them when they start their employment. So there's something there that we want to fill. And we believe that this can be really filled by doing some practical work experience. That's where many people get their practical experience from. Those additional skills that you don't necessarily get just in an academic environment. So we want to get more work experience, more employers engaging with work experience. And we know there's some, there's some firms and companies who do fantastic work experience. So we want to celebrate those, but also ask a few more to get on board as well, so that more people have the opportunity to top up their skills and fill the employer's needs. That sounds amazing to me. So I got into engineering because I did some work experience. So I did a physics degree, ended up doing a summer placement where I was surrounded by engineers. And that really sort of lit a bulb in my mind about mm -hmm. this, you know, this is the career that I want to pursue. Yeah. So it sounds like it's very beneficial to the students to inspire them to pursue a career in engineering. Yes, it is. Uh, that's exactly the experience we want more people to have because you get that understanding of what, what potentially is out there for you by doing work experience, so for the students to be able to go into engineering firms, they can be inspired as to what's going on and it helps prevent those stereotypes being perpetuated. They can really be convinced that it's a great, a great career for them and that's really important even at that stage. That sounds great to me. So what's in it for the employers? Oh, there's a lot in it for the employers and I think the, the employers, certainly in our survey, were convinced about that. So a lot of them noted the gap. Almost three quarters of them even suggested it should be compulsory that employers offered that kind of experience. I don't think we're going quite that far, but I think for the employers, they're going to get more rounded employees. They're going to get people who can hit the ground running a little bit more when they come into the environment. So they will get a real distinct advantage with their employees of the future. And what more do you think needs to be done to encourage more students to actually come into engineering? I think there's an awful lot. We can have a very long discussion about <laughs> what more could be done because I think it comes from the very early age. We need to make sure that children get the right careers advice. And they also need that advice and guidance and, and a bit more exposure to what their options are at fairly early stages when they're choosing subjects. And so it's not just about careers advice, it's also about role models. Yeah, I mean, it, it's funny because I was thinking that when I joined and chose to do structural engineering, I still didn't fully appreciate the mm. huge range of types of engineering yeah. that a student can choose. Yeah. I don't think we can explain it to people really <laughs> and, and that's why just seeing people who are really inspirational who they can see oh I could do that or I could do that so there's a big element of that and there's also an element of of knowing that the roles that people can take on really make a difference in society. And do you think anything particularly different or special needs to be done to get more girls into the industry? Yeah, we know there's a, there's a huge shortage of girls. I mean, it, it's not moving. There's only about 9% of, of engineers who are women. That's really dreadful. So we need to start making sure that, that younger girls know that the stereotypes shouldn't put them off. The stereotypes are not real. We need to bust a few of them. This is not a career always involved wearing a hard hat. It, you don't go home mucky at the end of the day. It's not about fixing things. This is something where everyone, uh, boys and girls, men and women, can make a really meaningful career because there's such a variety, you can always choose what you're going to go into. So we need to make sure that girls do understand that and see other, pe other women undertaking these roles. Well, I'm on board. Alison, thank Good. you so much. Thank you.